I want to know your 23 player roster, Lori, if you have okay, to here we right go. now today. So I kind of messed this up and you know that because I was like trying to look ahead and like go with my pick as like, um, like what this team would look like next year. Right. And I was trying to guess and it all depended on like who's healthy. Right. I know there's a ton of asterisks, but goalkeepers were the easiest for me. I know I'm probably going to get some stuff for not having Tillis Joyce on here, but I do have a listener. These aren't in any particular order either. Mm -hmm. uh, listen there, Casey Murphy and Aubrey Kingsbury um, for my goalkeepers. Cause I do feel like those three um, outside of Casey Murphy has been injured. She's proven that um, she's very much capable and I think she'll push the first starting spot. Um, and then it gets exceedingly more difficult and I'm like all over the place, but <laughs> um, listen, here's who I have. Um, I had Tierna Davidson in here cause I was looking ahead, right? She obviously is injured. So she is not going to be playing. So I'm going to have to like make some, I'm going to get some subs in here already. Right. All right. So I have Alana cook. I have Kelly O'Hara. I also had crystal Dunn. She's out. Goodness gracious. I'm having to sub her too. Uh, anyway, I picked, I picked seven. Okay? okay. So I have Alana. Well, we're cook. already down to five. Right. I know this is a bummer. <laughs> um, Alana cook. I have Becky Sauerbrunn. I have Kelly O'Hara. I have Emily Fox, Abby doll Kemper. And then I'm going to throw in that's two, four, two, four, five, Sophie, Sophia Huerta. And then because Tierra Davidson is out, I'm going with a Naomi Gurma. And right. that does leave a sonnet out, but my thinking about that. So that leaves Tierra Davidson who would be high on the list. And so would Crystal Dunn in that mix for me if they were back. And listen, I'm a big Emily Sonnet fan. However, I'm a big Emily Sonnet fan as a center back. And Black Mononoski has made it clear that she is not playing center back for the national team. And I don't think we get the best out of her playing outside back. So I would choose, that's why I'd go with at this point in time, uh, Sofia Huerta um, filling into that spot. Okay. I respect that. I was going to, my question was going to be about Emily Sonnet, not mm -hmm. having her there. So on, on mine, I have actually the same goalkeepers as you, as you, Alyssa okay. Mayer, Aubrey yep. Kingsbury, and then Casey Murphy that, three was very easy to pick. Um, and then back line, essentially the same. I have Emily Sonnet in there and I did not pick Abby Dahl Kemper. Interesting. Um, she's it, technically a little injured right now. Yeah. Hasn't been playing that much with San Diego and hasn't, uh, honestly, when I watched Dahl Kemper and Naomi Gurma play together for San Diego, I think Gurma is doing a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, Dahl Kemper has the experience and she has the tenure to do that. But Really, I think Gurma is the future, especially when you're out with a player uh, like Tierna Davidson that isn't playing in that back line. If you pair and Be Becky Sauerbrunn coupled with the Naomi Gurma, I think that could be a really good pairing. And yeah. to get her in now is it's good. Yeah. Well, listen, I agree with that. I, I've really grown into enjoying Naomi Gurma. I thought she had a great game the, um, yesterday. Now I'm losing my days, um, <laughs> but I do think it. I do think if Tierna Davidson, and this is all hypothetical because it's not tomorrow, right? And she's still injured. But I do think it would be a, ultimately a Tierna Davidson, Alana Cook pairing back there. But I have Becky Sauerbrunn in there because I actually think regardless of Becky's age next year, if she can stay healthy, um, I think that she is a, a voice between Vlaco and these players. So it is almost like a, a player coach. And you know what you're going to get from Becky. And if she's partnered even with like somebody, there's just good organization. So I, I have Becky going all the way. We'll see. Report yeah, back in a year's time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll report back for sure. Okay. <laughs> 52, midfield. 52 Mondays from here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Midfielders. we got to go. All right. So I've got Andy Sullivan. I've got to figure this out a little bit too. I have certainly Ashley Sanchez. Uh, Lindsay Horan, Roosevelt. I have six of these because I put in an extra um, attacker. Uh, I do have, well, this is where I messed up because I had Sam Mewis coming back. I have my fingers I crossed have her, for her as well. I have her as well. But you know back. what? She's not there. So we're going with Jalen Howell as well. And then, listen, I might have to leave this one blank right now because I'm not. I also am a huge fan of Chrissy Mewis and I just want some more. So she's not on the okay. list. I'm going with five. I'm keeping them off. We're going with 22. Wow. So no Christy Mewis. Um, Sam would be on the list if she was healthy. And you're throwing in Jalen Howe. So is the toss-up between like a Christy Mewis and a Jalen Howe? Because Howe wasn't on your list originally. No, Howe wasn't on my list orig originally. But I do see some things that I'm starting to like a bit more from her game. And it also depends on who she's paired with, which is like, is pretty, is pretty like, 
that's tough, right? Because like you got to be able to just play regardless. Yes, totally. And I do think partnerships are a real thing and you don't always just play the best players if it doesn't mesh. But, um, but this, this is, I have an asterisk there because I'm not totally <laughs> convinced about it either, but it was, you know, I'm looking across the board and there's some, I don't see a ton of depth there right now. I'm looking at all the rosters on the NWSL and I'm just, I'm not seeing it. So yeah. this is where I think Kat Macario would be interesting to also drop back. And then um, how Andy Sullivan, I also do have some asterisks by Sam Coffey because I've talked about her in the past and also Savannah DeMello. This is early stages, everybody, right? So <laughs> listen, I don't want to be getting quoted. Like what did Lori say 52 weeks ago? But those two players I'm keeping my eye on because I think that are interesting prospects and they've had some really good starts to the season and they're doing some different things than other rookies are. Um, and just in terms of their like, calmness and the confidence yeah. that they are imposing on the games that I think are beyond their years that compared to some other rookies. So, um, you know, what? keep an eye on them. Who do you got? I, I like that a lot. I got Lindsay Horan, Rose Lavelle, Ashley Sanchez, Andy Sullivan. I got Sam Ewis on here. I know you crossed her out, but I think she's back. I think she's just waiting. And then I have Christy Mewis. I think that she will perform differently with the national team than she does with Gotham. I think there's a little too much pressure on her. I mean, she should be performing with Gotham. Don't get me yep. wrong. But yeah. because she should be doing what she's not doing, there's a lot of pressure on her. And with the national team, I think she can perform and 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 execute there. So that's who I've got in the mid. All right. This is my favorite my favorite lineup here. Okay. Your forwards. Okay. Who yeah. So I was, um, well, I real quick, I know we're rushed on time here, but like the one thing too, I do like Christy Mewis a lot. Like she brings something different. My, and I've always said that, but there's gotta be something more too. I think that has, if you, it's gotta be more. Right. And I think yeah. if you are going to be a national team player and Gotham needs six, they do need to expect more from her. Right. She is their go-to player. Like, let's go. Come on. Yeah. I know. Um, Exactly. Okay. That's what I mean. There's a lot of pressure on Christy Mewis to to be that player to step up. And frankly, we haven't seen it. Well, that's what I'm saying. So step up, yes. Mewis. Let's go. We you need your team needs you. Let's go. All right. So forwards. Um, so the way that I looked at this, my my forwards, people are going, I was like, ooh, the chats could be off the walls with this one, right? Because I actually, <laughs> you heard it here first, everybody, went projecting to the next World Cup. I didn't even have press on there because of just the mix of strikers that I was looking at. And, ooh, I'm going to get some big time. Okay, Kat Macario I have. Um, Mal Pugh, no doubt. I have Trinity Rodman, um, Alex Morgan, Sophia Smith. And then, listen, I know she's injured. Um, <laughs> senior citizens. <laughs> I, I am. I'm all for the senior citizens. Let's go, team. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I also have Lynn Williams. I know that she's injured. So, um, Lori, you can't pick people that are out. Oh, yeah. Well, See, remember I told you I projected FBI. for next year. So I'm just telling you these are have, listen, so Kristen Press would be on there now. Okay. If it was right okay. now. Okay. And um, I would put Megan Rapino on there for her ability to close out games. I'm not saying she's a 90 minute starter. Please don't misunderstand. Yeah. Abby Wambeck, let's get her out of um, <laughs> the retirement too. Lord, um, we're going to throw you in the midfield if this is, if this is how it works yeah, now. Senior I love this. No, come on. <laughs> I've only picked like two senior citizens, everybody. Um, so Kat Macario, Mal Pugh, Trinity Rodman, Alex Morgan, Sophia Smith, and Megan Rapino, Kristen Press. Those would be seven. No Ashley Hatch. No Ashley Hatch. Because I think it's, and again, this is why it's really tough and exciting as well. I think Ashley Hatch performs. I think she gives the, um, Washington something different. However, when I think she is a true out and out number nine. And so really is Kat Macario, except you can play her elsewhere. So you can drop her back when you're making a sub. And right now, I do think Alex Morgan is performing better than Ashley Hatch. So, and okay. I was, those would be the two that I would take there. Mm -hmm. But I have Ashley Hatch. Don't worry. I have her asterisk. Right okay. There. Okay. Yeah. I'm so glad the asterisks are there. Those are our substitutes <laughs> when the roster gets expanded. Gosh, yeah. what, what's the point of making rules for the games we play well, here? Because I not told you, the I, there, because when I was <laughs> looking ahead, that it all depend on healthy and injury. And I wanted to make sure I was covering all my bases. 
So Lori, it's go. your show. We're just yeah. here to hear your thoughts. So I'm yeah. all for it. I love this. Pew Smith, Macario, Morgan, Rodman. I agree with all of it. I have press on mine and I've actually hatched on mine. I left off Megan Rapino. Um, I, I want to see a little bit more from her before I oh, get I her in there. A, I think that's a completely fair shout. hundred yeah. percent. I am totally bringing though, when you look across the board and having something different, Megan Rapino would bring something different than every single one of those players outside. Yeah, actually every single one is a winger. Oh, she would yeah. be really okay. different than everyone. So I think that's what you have to look at though. Yes. No, I agree yeah. completely. Yeah. It, we got to look at it. I love this. And this was rosters as of today. So some asterisks in there with injuries, but this was a great question. I love our question segments. Thank you. Everyone who writes in, gives us question like this video, drop your question in the chat. You can tweet at us at attacking third, um, leave us questions for next week's episodes because we love these. Give us fun scenarios, rules to play by Lori may or may not play by the rules, but we'll see. And we'll have fun with it.